deadly police shooting of an airman inside his home. This happened in Florida. Roger Forston was killed last week by a sheriff's deputy who was responding to calls of a domestic body camera footage has now been released of that deadly police shooting of an airman inside his home. This happened in Florida. Roger Forston was killed last week by a sheriff's deputy who was responding to calls of a domestic disturbance. Hmm. Now, his family says the deputy had the wrong apartment. Jesus that Christ, That deputy bro. is now on leave as the shooting is being investigated. Nikki Batiste has more. We have to warn you here. These images are extremely upsetting. This newly released body cam video shows an Okaloosa County deputy arriving at the home of senior airman Roger Fortson's apartment door, responding. First of all, that level of negligence is crazy to me, right? Where you are unable to tell that you've got the wrong apartment. Like, that's the first thing you should do is make sure that you're at the right place before you pull guns and start kicking down doors. To me, that alone should get your ass fired and likely be and green light the civil suit because that's ridiculous that's a level of mistake that that we should not permit right you didn't stub your toe you didn't trip or whatever no you went to the wrong place they told you to go to 29 whatever and you went to 28 and shot somebody they have they didn't do anything wrong so to, to them you're just a fucking intruder but yet they love to give the police the benefit of the doubt. In hindsight, they can just, oh, they were uh, they were rushing, whatever. And they can just give them whatever fucking goofy excuse to do whatever dumb retard shit they wanted to do. Like, it's ridiculous. To a 911 call about a domestic disturbance. The deputy knocks three times. After the first knock, he steps off to the side. No one answers. And he knocks two more times. I Why are you hiding? Himself. The video is partially blurred. Sheriff's office, open the door! Why are you hiding? Seconds later, Fortson opens the door. He's seen holding a handgun that was legally owned, according to his family. The deputy orders him to step back, then fires. Drop the gun! You see the problem here, right? The issue is that this man had a legal right to own a firearm. He's still inside his house. It's pointed at the floor. He's got his hand up. He has a legal right to answer the door with a gun in his hand, no matter if you're the police or not. He didn't raise it. He didn't even move. And before you you gave a command, and before he even had time to, to, to heed your command, you shot him. That's murder. You're not allowed to do that. You motherfucker, you. And the fact that you're... The fact that you're at the wrong apartment makes it worse. Because you didn't even take... You're rushing, this, this level of negligence is absolutely outrageous because not only did you not take the time to figure out whether you were at the right place, you didn't give him a chance to, to heed your fucking, your, 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 your commands. Or prove that he was a threat. Because right. You can, to, you can notice and take note that he has a gun, but like as my husband said, it's pointed to the ground. If he was to lift up that gun, then you would be in, uh, yeah. he would be a threat to you. Yep. In a place where you're legally allowed to carry a firearm, whether it's an open carry state and you're outside, or whether it's inside your own home in a place where you're allowed to carry a firearm, there is no illegality in holding a gun in your hand if you don't do anything with it there's no illegality to that even if you're right next to the police they can command you to put it down or to put it away and if you don't then they can tackle you or beat you up but holding a gun in my hand when i'm legally allowed to do so not making any threatening movements not threatening anyone in fact he had his hand up like wait wait what's going on here oh you the police before he got a chance to drop it you shot him what are you doing the problem is with with these cops they're not following the steps they're taking they're missing the steps that put people to mark them as a threat and automatically assume taking action a right taking action with their steps to say oh it was already it was already there right and some people will watch this video and say and probably get in my comments and say well what was the police supposed to do i don't give a fuck what you're supposed to do because fuck you you're a government agent i am a private citizen i have fucking rights and you can't just fucking murder me when you feel like it. And you're supposed to be protecting the citizens, not killing them. What you think the Constitution's for? Exactly shit like this. The Constitution was written to prevent government overreach. To prevent the citizens from being abused by government agents. That's what this is. I have a right to carry a gun. How you shoot me for exercising my rights? It doesn't work like that. 
Because guess what? Let's change the scenario. If it was a person who wasn't of color and they answered the door. I'm sure he wouldn't have shot him. Absolutely not. I'm sure he would have like put the gun down. He would and then and then and the thing is is that the officer had multiple things to do where it's not like they're out in a field or something where someone can say, Well, if he raises it, the officer might not have time to fire. First of all, you will because you you already have the gun pointed at him and unholstered. Second of all, the cop could have moved to the side, right? The same way how like a dickhead you hid. The same way you hid when you knocked on the door. You could have hid right after when you saw the gun, you could have moved, be like, hey, put your gun down, police. And got and got behind the door frame. If you see him try to come out the door jam, shoot him. But, to again, to shoot a man inside his own house, from outside, while he's exercising his, his rights inside his house is crazy and, and wildly illegal. And not only that, um, as he was approaching the apartments and walking through the area that he is supposedly supposed to be at, why aren't you waiting in confirming yet again... That you're in the right the, place. Right. The address of where you need to be. Again, there's no confirmation, triple checking confirmation. There is no thought of the step process of what a threat will be when it comes to that point. Like they just automatically just jump to it. Right. With a person of color. And I hate that they allow the police to make such wild like leaps of faith and then take people's lives and then justify it after the fact. It's fucking nonsensical. Shots fired. Suspect down. Dickhead. Sheriff Eric Aiden says his department... <laughs> like, he drop the gun! You told him to drop the gun, and then you shot him. And then you come back and say, drop the gun again. I hate these fucking cops. You're fucking rats. Because what you do is you shoot motherfuckers, and then come back to them trying to handcuff them and shit like that, like you didn't just shoot somebody. You're an asshole. Fuck you. ...release the video to be transparent. No determination has been made... You're getting sued. ...deputy's actions... Were justified or not. You're getting sued. Fortson's mother, Mika, says her son was FaceTiming with his girlfriend during the shooting. Wow. The girlfriend told the family the deputy said something not on the body cam video released today. They just said, oh yeah, he shot up. He shot up. My baby was shot up. Fortson's family says he was alone and grabbed his gun only after he heard aggressive knocking on his door, peeked through his people and saw no one. Fortson's family. He said sheriff's office twice, but that doesn't mean he heard you. Right. That doesn't mean he heard you. Right. So he came to the door with his gun in his hand. Again, with the gun pointed at the ground and his hand out like this, it's clear that he's not a threat. And not only that... And, and he didn't give him time to, to heed your commands. Right. That's a murder. And not only that, you announced yourself as a sheriff, a police officer, but yet you hid. He said he saw nobody in through the peephole. Yep. So you announce yourself so that somebody knows that you're there, you're a police officer. And then you hide. And then you hide. Be, and, and don't say, oh, he could have shot through the door. Well, the, the officer didn't know he had a gun until he opened the door. Right. He was responding to a, a domestic dispute call right. not a shots fired call right. so he shouldn't be entitled to presume that gunfire would come through the door right. such that he should hide behind the fucking door for the door jam right and second of all nigga recheck the address you're at the wrong fucking house dickhead he claims the deputy went to the wrong apartment roger was a gift from god he was a patriot and so he respected authority why the police didn't respect him that's the question. Crazy. For CBS Mornings, I'm Nikki Batiste. Miss me. Don't argue with me because I'm not hearing your dog shit. You don't know what you're talking about. If you say anything other than this officer should go to jail. He should go to jail and he should be sued along with the city and state. Ridiculous behavior. You can't, you're not entitled to just act like a jittery fucking pussy and start shooting when someone has a gun in their hand. You're a police officer. Do your job. That's not doing your job. Giving people commands and then killing them before they have a chance to follow them? That's not doing your job. That's just abuse of power. You're a murderer. Fuck out of here, you rat. Should hang you by your neck, nigga. Rest in peace to that airman.